Jeff Weiss continuing on with Unit 11, Part 2. Um, this material uh, summarizes some of, the, um, some of the information in the textbook, Chapter 15, and it discusses the uh, basic ideas of landscape design. For professional landscapers, uh, planning the landscape means meeting the desires of the clients and matching the opportunities and the constraints of the site uh, to be both beautiful and functional. And those of you who visited the uh, Botanic Garden uh, can see some stunning examples of how um, the uh, site in Glencoe has been uh, adapted and planted to um, be amazingly beautiful and to demonstrate uh, many of the functions that the um, that landscaping can achieve. The main elements uh, from an artistic standpoint or an aesthetic standpoint that come together in a successful landscape design are the use of line. Uh, here in that photo you can see the um, contrast between the um, the boxwood hedge, uh, the, uh, the brick uh, sidewalk, the um, beds planted with, uh, with tulips, and those lines uh, uh, create a, um, a great contrast uh, and really uh, provide an organization and uh, uh, accent accentuate the, um, the colors of the, of the garden area. In the second photo form, um, especially the, um, uh, the vine growing up the uh, massive trellis uh, uh, provides uh, a great contrast uh, to the um, plants that are in the um, containers uh, in the center and uh, cascading out of the garden beds to the left. Color is always one of the uh, uh, elements of design and uh, is there anything that lifts up your spirits more than the color of the first daffodils in, in spring? And uh, texture, um, uh, the elements here are include the gravel um, from the sidewalk uh, the hard uh, granite rock and then the merging of that into the greens and the uh, colors of the uh, of the bedding plants and the and the shrubs going up this slope uh, so be thinking about these things because uh, your discussion uh, question is to uh, select a, uh, a photo and to discuss the interplay of, of these elements so you'll have an opportunity to uh, be a uh, to interpret a landscape design from these aspects, just as I've tried to do here. So the principles underlying uh, landscape design include um, some of the following, um, but uh, the unity of the uh, design or its uh, simplicity is important. Uh, an ideal design has uh, a single theme uh, that is uh, supported or augmented by all of its elements. And then that theme should be balanced, symmetrical, and asymmetrical um, uh, in a way that uh, none of the uh, elements stick out as being uh, not belonging. Um, emphasis is created in this case by the bench and the um, flagstones uh, emphasize, providing a central focal point and then leading the eye off in the direction of the uh, of the shape and of the trees and the and the foliage that's uh, uh, turning into fall foliage and uh, repetition uh, involves um, using similar elements across the landscape uh, to um, feedback and create that, that feeling of unity, um, scale and proportion, transition of one area or one feature into the next, um, 
all of these elements uh, combine to create what someone called a choreography choreography of experience when viewing a landscape. And I hope you all have your own personal favorite, or in uh, the case of those of you who are have a uh, design sense and good taste, are uh, able to achieve those in your own uh, on your own property in your own yard. So as mentioned, uh, in professional landscaping though, the um, the goals are to satisfy the client's preferences, but to um, use the designer's um, uh, expertise and um, design um, sense to create an aesthetically pleasing landscape uh, that is at the same time both functional and practical, and um, practical from the standpoint of uh, of choosing the right plants in the right place so that they will survive and grow into the um, the landscape and to be practical from the standpoint of being uh, affordable and providing uh, uh, low maintenance. So there's a series of plans that are involved in designing and implementing and maintaining a, uh, uh, a successful landscape and I'm going to go through uh, some of them uh, quickly and the, the the number and the type of plans of course depend on the uh, size and the scope of the um, landscaping project. Not every one of these plans would be used in every landscape and some of these plans might be uh, emphasized and others uh, um, would be less important depending on the uh, on the design and the and the budget. But the master plan is one that uh, uh, can be used both for professional landscape design and for a homeowner trying to decide um, how to improve landscape. And basically what it involves is uh, drawings of both the uh, buildings on the property, um, the other uh, features such as driveways, uh, sidewalks, uh, parkway trees, and then all of the um, areas uh, to be um, incorporated into the into the landscape design. And in this case, there's wildflower and native garden beds, uh, tree and shrub plantings, uh, a vegetable garden, uh, screens, uh, and then uh, uh, landscaping surrounding the uh, um, the corners of the house and garage serving those functions to create uh, privacy and screens and to uh, provide um, uh, environmental protection from the home or for the home and uh, um, uh, nice looks from all uh, directions uh, approaching and, and going around the house. So once the uh, uh, master plan is developed then uh, one of the next plans that might be um, worked on is the planting plan where um, uh, trees, shrubs, perennials, bedding plants and other uh, elements will go and that um, also um, gets into more detail about uh, things that need to be done to modify the land um, to um, create that Plant, the, the planting areas. So in this case there's a, a water retention basin which may need uh, require grading. Uh, there's an erosion control area that may require uh, erosion blanket protection while the um, plants are becoming established and um, a picnic area that may uh, require uh, construction of, uh, of uh, a table or a, a surface for that. Uh, examples of other planning documents that might be uh, um, used for a landscape design including uh, bubble charts uh, for the planting areas, uh, construction plans, grading plans for uh, uh, changing or adding basins or ponds uh, or uh, for uh, shaping the uh, 
uh, the landscape area, uh, plans for draining water away, uh, or for uh, storing water in the case of a rain garden. And then uh, the final uh, planning document that should be uh, delivered to a client uh, uh, in the case of professional landscaping or uh, considered even by a homeowner in deciding what uh, landscaping to do on their own property is to uh, think about and develop uh, uh, maintenance schedules uh, so that the landscape can be um, kept up. So um, I, I mentioned earlier uh, some of the uh, functional uses of plants and uh, um, this chart gives uh, additional um, detail on that and describes some of the uh, ways in which plants can uh, be used to um, provide important um, functions in a, uh, in a landscape. So privacy and screening of, of views uh, mitigating the effects of climate. Uh, this can include uh, winds, uh, shade, uh, and uh, removing uh, standing water or channeling water to where it can be uh, um, infiltrated into the ground in a rain garden. Uh, glare re reduction, uh, wind breaks, uh, reducing inter interior energy, uh, traffic control, are uh, some of the other functions and uh, we'll talk about this uh, in more detail but erosion control is a uh, an extremely valuable um, function that plants can perform by protecting bare soil from being uh, lost and eroded and and washed into water bodies as uh, sediments uh, where they can cause uh, pollution and uh, other damage and then finally uh, and this has become an important part of the sustainable horticulture movement is providing cover and food for wildlife and that wildlife can include um, pollinators uh, such as bees and, and uh, hummingbirds uh, and uh, important uh, wildlife corridors for uh, butterflies and uh, dragonflies and other animals so that uh, as the natural areas uh, continue to be uh, um, broken up and degraded that um, these uh, um, these animals will have uh, a place to go and, a, and an avenue to go between um, areas where they can uh, reproduce and thrive. So I'm going to um, stop there and then go to the third part of this uh, uh, unit where we'll talk about landscape construction.